Hi everyone, uh, I'm not really sure how to begin this, so I guess I'm just going to start, but uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, something many people in, uh, in my musical world anyway know about, that um, that we lost our, our dear brother and mentor and, and friend, Brahim Fribgane, a few days ago. Um, and I just have been trying to think about what it is I want to say about him because there was so much to say about him. He was such a special human being, um, such a special musician, a, a master <clears throat> really on two fronts, both a, of a rhythmic nature and a melodic nature. Uh, a ma as everyone in, who knew him knew, he was a master percussionist, Dumbek, Darbuka, anything you gave the guy. He just created... Um, really such unbelievable rhythms and um i learned so much from him and and could have learned from him for five lifetimes the guy knew so much about rhythm and and played so um played rhythm so creatively so musically um and of course the other side of his musicianship which was just as strong just as magical just as creative was this incredible melodic sense that he um was able to communicate both in his voice, his songwriting, and uh, on the oud, actually on guitar too. He was an incredible guitar player, um, master really of, of both of those um, those forms. Um, if you've never got a chance to hear him, I highly recommend going and maybe doing a YouTube search of Brahim Fribgane and Hassan Hakmoun. You can hear his absolute mastery of... Um, percussion techniques and um if you want to hear him playing some incredible oud go to a video called um o futuro es nuestro uh by residente live uh and you'll hear him playing the oud there's a million videos but everybody should go check out this guy's music uh, i guess i'll talk about his music first but i also want to talk about him as a person because he was just as extraordinary in that way. But um, yeah, there was uh, just something about the guy that um, was so unique, so individual, um, so open. Uh, and I guess that <clears throat> was also what made him sp such a special person. Um, I'm going to try to say this all without getting emotional if I can. Um, cause it's been an emotional few days for everybody who knew him and loved him. Because if you knew Brahim, you loved him. Everybody loved Brahim. I mean, the guy was so unpretentious, so, um, saw everyone in the same light. And I saw him <clears throat> behave the same way with, um, taxi drivers as he did with celebrities that we would meet in our many years of playing and being on the road. He treated everybody the same. We were all God's children. And um, I think in kind of an overarching way that that's one of the things that I always was so amazed by about him was that he was so open. He was so, um, you know, he was about, uh, I'm laughing as I'm thinking about this because of course he also loved a good dirty joke and all the rest of it like, like anybody else. And he had a fantastic sense of humor. But that type of stuff was secondary the, uh, to him than the big picture stuff, than God, than religion. That was what was important. And I got that sense from him as a human that the, the, the bigger stuff was actually more important to talk about. And I got that sense from him as a musician, which is getting down to the truth of whatever it is that he was trying to play or trying to compose or, or write or sing or whatever. And he did that so so beautifully you go listen to those examples um so you can see what i'm talking about um and i was uh, had the great fortune to hear the guy play night after night and just blow everybody's minds um with that 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 realness that he had you know that sincerity that um but also a sense of joy everything i mean the whole human package you can received from someone as a human being and you can also receive it from their music and he gave both he gave both equally um to everybody he met 
Um, yeah, uh, you know, not to be cosmic or anything, but I, for me, Ibrahim always like operated maybe on a in different dimensions or operated in like a different dimension. I can share a funny anecdote. On the road, of course, you know, you, you might go out sometimes after uh, certain shows or whatever, and, and he, that really wasn't his scene, you know. So somewhere along the, the second year we were on the road together, being with uh, the Residente Band, um, you know, uh, we started to practice what's called the Irish goodbye, which means you don't say goodbye to anybody, uh, you just leave. <clears throat> it's also referred to as a Houdini because you just kind of disappear, you know? And man, nobody did that better than Brahim. <laughs> nobody. Uh, I mean, you'd be at some party with him and you would turn your head to the left for like two seconds and you'd turn back and poof, the guy was gone. I, I mean, he got so good at it that we uh, ended up um, calling that art not a Houdini, but a Brahimi. <laughs> because he uh, was so good at it. But um, yeah, I think that all, some of that stealthness, maybe that's not the right word, but but some of that ability to sort of weave in and out of other people's awareness, because he, the guy did it, he must've done it 50 times. And I was I would wait for him to do it. I said, all right, I'm gonna catch Brahim pulling the, the Houdini. And I never could, not once. Um, he, yeah, he played music in that same way. He had a different dimension to his to his musicianship and to his humanity. Um, yeah, uh, I'm really going to miss him. He was a beautiful, beautiful guy. Kind of the closest thing I've had to a, a big brother. Um, and... Uh, I guess I just wanted to share some some thoughts with you all with you all about that because um I still can't believe he's gone. But uh, his music is here and his music lives on. The last time I saw him last year, he was showing me some of his new music which was absolutely fucking incredible. Pardon my language. Just amazing music. Um so you know, so it's still out there. Uh and Brahim's still out there. It's his essence. Um, but yeah, he was just also a wonderful, wonderful guy. Um, so I love you, Brahim. Uh, thank you for uh, listening, everyone.